So here's the 2006 330 CI ZHP. Black sport tip exhaust. BMW performance exhaust. Here we have the system. Comprised of two JL amps. 500 by one driving the two W6 subwoofers. And we also have a four channel 300 watt amp that powers all four JL speakers. The full interior sound is JL. Crossovers here to remove all the bass um, from the tweeters and everything like that to deliver clear, crisp audio. Nav TV that allows me to fully open source the navigation to put whatever I want to it. You could hook anything up to it, DVD, whatever. There's the uh, onboard computer tower. Um, it's got Wi Fi built into it, delivers all weather and all sorts of things whenever it grabs Wi Fi just to keep me updated. Um, there's the Alpine brain for the Alpine touch head unit that's fully Bluetooth capable. Uh, there's the navigation box, which is powered by Motorola with all updated maps. Um, there's the capacitor that prevents the lights from dimming whenever the uh, base hits or anything like that. Um, those are the terminals. Those are put on there. Here's the trunk, closed. Um, these tail lights right here are the same tail lights that are on the M3 that have all LED bulbs, so they can never really go out, which is good. They would go out one little baby bulb at a time if they die, and LED bulbs usually don't die. Uh, it did originally have Harman Kardon for the sound system. It's got a full black interior, the same as the M3. The shadow line trim, which is black, and it's exclusive to the ZHP and the M3 only. Um, so here's the interior, it's full black suede. There's the back seat, which is, the back seat's kind of more like a 2 plus 2. Um, and that's kind of the weird clothy stuff in the center of it. So it's, it's more for like two people back there. It's kind of coupled. Uh, lots of back room actually, surprisingly. Um, the gauges also in this vehicle are exclusive to the ZHP as well. Um, these gauges are not in the regular 3 series or in the M3. They're black face gauges with red needles. Uh, there's the Alpine touchscreen, which I don't intend on keeping really. There's the mark for uh, sat nav. There's the remote, kind of similar to the iDrive sort of knob. There's the BMW Motorsport uh, shift knob. Um, as you see, six-speed suede shift boot. Um, there's the carbon fiber Fox uh, dash trim, which is exclusive to the ZHP and the uh, CSL. Um, black anthracite headliner. Also something that is exclusive to the ZHP. There's the mic system for the Bluetooth, where you can pick up right there whenever you get a call for hands-free calling. Uh, the steering wheel is the uh, M-Spec steering wheel, perforated on the sides. Um, only featured for 2006, the steering wheel, um, replacing the suede one that was originally came with this. Uh, full fog lamps, automatic lights, auto uh, the projection headlamps, which um, I don't remember the word for it, but when you steer, the lights turn as well. Uh, yeah, it did have her tinted. She's all tinted up. Um, a series of toggle switches. Uh, that's just to control a variety of different things. Um, this one completely pulls you off the map. This other toggle switch here. Is a complete, uh, completely kills the navigation. That full Alpine white exterior. Um, the rims are the style 138 M spec rims, which were also exclusive to the uh, CHP as well. Um, the CHP front end is kind of a more sleek weller rounded uh, version of the M3 body kit as the M3 features the M Technic 1 body kit this features the M Technic 2 uh, so 
under the hood. She has a full Denon package um, motor, which uh, features larger, larger throttle body, high flow uh, intake, um, and it also has uh, injectors and engine software. Custom Angel Eyes, which were put in there. Um, the Angel Eyes that are in here, actually, here they are. You can see them a little better over here. Um, in fact, they had to be baked, and the headlights had to be pulled apart to do the Angel Eyes. Uh, so, that's the 2006 uh, BMW ZHP.